Devotion to the Lord has more to do with what we are becoming than it does with what we do. Devotion to the Lord has more to do with what we are becoming than it does with what we do. So it goes back to matters of the heart where God is shaping our character and who we are. God cares about who you are. And the process of becoming is about our growth and development. <coughs> growth and development. Growth and development. You know what you need for growth? You know what you need for growth and development? You need feedback for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Feedback. People like to live lives without feedback. You got to have feedback. Amen. I'm a professor, and so every semester, every year, I get feedback from students. It's always, you know, I do my job, but, you know, so always a little, little bit nervous. You wonder what people are going to say. But you got to get it. Because I got to be better, I got to do better. Even if I think I'm already good, I got I to gotta get better every year. I got to be respond to people's feedback. If I don't, I won't grow. I looked up develop and grow on Google. I just Googled it. Here's some words that came to mind. I love these words. To develop or grow is to quote, evolve, mature, expand, enlarge, spread, advance, progress, prosper, succeed, thrive, get on well, flourish, blossom, bloom, burgeon, make a head, make headway, be successful, unquote. That's what we should be pursuing every moment of the day. How can I grow? How can I grow? That's the, and I, well, I see I didn't get this in the last, I didn't get to hear it in my last service, but uh, I'm going to try to, this is a good moment to say, look, when you're married, your spouse is your sparring partner. Now, boxing's not as popular as it used to be years ago. Okay, but in boxing, when you prepare, you, 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 you know, you, you, you have a sparring partner, somebody that's not trying to beat you, but they, they're, they're, they're giving you the best sense of what the opponent's going to do when you're in the ring. And it's like, you know, you get to practice your moves and you get better, you can become a better boxer. Well, your spouse is your sparring partner. So when they get on your nerves, you say, okay, we're sparring right now. <laughs> but you're not fighting them. You're, you're competing against yourself, your former nature, your old nature. That old nature tries to come up, and you respond with maturity. Yeah, good word. That, that old nature gives you the left hook, you give the old nature the right hook with the new nature. Yeah. And you just, you're just using your spouse at that moment to spar so you can grow. They've offended you, they've done or said something you don't like, you say, all right, here we go, I'm going to grow. All right. Right. I, this is a great opportunity because there's nothing like real life situations to teach us. This is, a, this, is a, this is a perfect teaching moment for me. And I don't have to tell my spouse what I'm doing. I'm just going to, okay, I'm going to start sparring so I can defeat the old nature and live into the new nature. If you do that, your spouse becomes another kind of resource for you. Because all that, when you, when you get offended at them, most of the time it's because you're seeing things in them that you have to deal with and it makes you mad. <laughs> there's something, that there's, there's often some aspect of what they're doing that you're criticizing that you need to deal with. And so if you just, you just point it back, Lord, what do I need to do? Yeah. Growth opportunity. 